everyone, it's Taylor here today, and I am excited to be stopping by with my Heidi Swap Mink Machine to share some results that I've been getting using Deco Foil. This has been something that I've been really excited to get back into recently, and I'm so excited to share it with you. So here I have some of the Deco Foils that I have. They come in so many different colors, and each package includes five transfer sheets. You can see on one side is shiny foil and the other side is kind of a matte finish silver. So the first technique I want to share with you uses the Deco Foil Transfer Gel. So this is a transfer gel that is similar to an embossing paste in the way that it would be applied. I have here cut out from Cookie Monster cardstock one of our cutting plates that I'm going to use as a stencil. I like to use a paper stencil when I do the transfer gel because it's just easier for cleanup. I can just throw it in the garbage when I'm done. Um, if you are using it with a plastic stencil, I would recommend getting it into water right away so that transfer gel does not stick onto your plastic stencil. So as I open up the jar, I'm going to grab some of that transfer gel with the back of my palette knife and just spread it thinly and evenly across my paper stencil. I want to get it within the cracks, but I do not want to have an overabundance of paste. One, I want to be able to reuse it, so I'm scraping off the top and putting the excess into the jar. And two, if you use too much paste, it takes a really long time to dry. Already with a thin layer, it's going to take about an hour to dry. I'm going to peel off the edges of this stencil and show you what it looks like once I get that edge up. There's the piece I would just toss into the garbage, and here is my stenciled piece. So as I mentioned, that will take about an hour to dry. So I have one here that's already dry. You can see that it dries clear. I'm going to go ahead and put that through my mink. I have my clear folder that comes with the machine. I'm going to put my foil on top with the shiny side up. Always remember shiny side up. And then I'm going to send that through the machine. I usually keep my heat setting at about four. Now when you pull that out, this is my favorite part of foiling, is pulling it out of the machine and peeling up a little corner and seeing the beautiful design that you get. So you can do this with any number of stencils, any number of cutting plates that you create your own stencil. The next technique I'd like to share with you is foiling toner printed sentiments. So these are sentiments that I designed and printed on a laser printer. And anything printed with a toner base can be foiled. So I have the Wish Big sentiment here with some of the rainbow foil, which I absolutely love. I'm putting that through my mink machine, again with a setting of four. When you pull that out, you can see that the foil sticks to the portion of the sentiment that has toner and it turns out really beautiful. You can cut that out with a circle. I created a little shaker card with that. You can find those sentiments in the Tailored Expressions store. Next, I wanna share with you another Tailored Expressions product that is toner printed. So we have these pre-printed border panels called Boxed In Basics. They come in two different sets, one and two. And I actually discovered that you can foil a pre-colored panel. So I've colored that with Copic and I'm putting some of the foil over the top. I have a couple of scrap pieces that I'm trying to use up. So I'm just aligning those together and sending it through the mink with the heat setting of four. So you can see when I pull that out the other side, everything that was black is now beautifully gold foiled. And you can see the sample card I made to show an example. Last but certainly not least, I would like to show you a method of foiling that does not require a heat source. So on this particular project, I have used some sticky tape. Now we have this in the Tailored Expression store. I'm using half inch. We also have quarter inch and one eighth inch. And you can create a really neat striped pattern with the adhesive and apply the foil just over the top of the adhesive so you don't require any heat. What I'm doing here is marking half an inch along all the sides of this piece of cardstock and then using that as a guide to apply my strips of tape. After I've done that, I'm going to use my scissors to cut the excess off of the edges. And then I wanna use my eraser to take off the little pencil marks that I made before I put, it, put the foil over the top. 
So I have peeled off the backing and I'm putting a piece of champagne foil, again, shiny side up. I'm just gonna take and press that with my finger. I found that a bone folder was unnecessary and actually left some scrape marks on my foil the first time I did it. So then just start up in the corner and slowly peel back the foil. If you're missing any spots, you can put it back down and press a little bit harder. I hope you learned something new today and are feeling inspired to try some foiling of your own. You can find all of today's products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.